Hey friends, in this video we will learn how we can block the incoming emails from a specific email account either that is external account or internal account. Internal account means the account which is the part of our organization and external accounts I mean of account which is not exist on our Google admin panel. So for that we need to create some rules over the Google mail and uh, for that we need to move inside the apps Google workspace because Google mail, Google sheets and other component other product of Google comes under workspace now. So for that I am just going to select Gmail. Gmail is a part of Google workspace. So once I click on the Gmail so I can see there are the multiple settings are coming over here. So we will see one by one how these settings, uh, how these settings can uh, help us to enabling or to configuring various settings for Google Mail. So for that for blocking a specific sender so we need to click on the advanced settings in the advanced settings because I am just going to apply the policy on a complete domain so this is the root domain so I am just uh, this is default selected over here but if you want to apply the policy for a specific organizational unit so you need to, you need to select any one of them and then you can uh, tweak the policy over here but my intention is that to apply the policy on complete uh, root domain. So for that I, there are the multiple settings are over here but as I already mentioned that I, not, I need to block specific sender so I am going to select this option configure and uh, assign a name of your uh, settings. I am just assigning a name for the settings spam users or you can specify blocked centers as well spam users and uh, blocked you can specify as per your requirement and uh, add addresses or domains that you want to automatically reject messages from. So here not only you can specify the email account but you can also uh, specify the domain name so a complete domain uh, can be blocked from here. So if any account which exists that, uh, that is specified on the domain here so users of that domain cannot send the email and uh, it will be blocked. So for that you need to create a new one because I have already created one of uh, the lists so I can use it or you can create new one. I am just going to create a, a new one with the name of blocked users underscore zero one. I clicked on the create. and uh, once I clicked on the create so this has been created over here I need to click on the edit and uh, no email addresses or domain added yet because we have just only created the list but we haven't added any account in that list so I need to add a account or a domain or you can add multiple accounts I am adding one of the account stack abc at the rate gmail.com I don't want to receive any email from this account so I have just specified the account and uh, click on the save option now blog underscore users underscore zero one list having one account 
In the similar way, you can specify the domain name over here and uh, edit the default rejection notice. Even you can specify the rejection notice. Why your email is rejected to this account, to this uh, accounts which are on stackabc.com domain. So here you can specify the notice as per your requirement. Your email account is not allowed to send the email on stackabc.com. This means if this user will try to send the email to test uh, or test one at the rate abc stackabc.com or uh, amit.gupta at the rate stackabc.com or any one of the accounts from stackabc.com so it should be blocked and it will get a rejection notice with the uh, custom notice which we have created so now uh, this is the third options bypass settings for messages received from addresses or domains within this approved sender list right here you can specify uh, the uh, approved sender list over here as well uh, in the later video we will see how we can tweak this uh, options as well currently we are working on to blocking the senders so i'm just going to click on the add settings now this settings has been uh, configured and we need to save it. So once I have saved these settings and uh, I will see to send a messages to send uh, uh, one or two messages from stackabc at the rate gmail.com to amit.gupta at the rate stackabc.com. Locked sender. This is the subject line which I have specified over here. You can change or you can tweak the settings yeah, or you can compose your email as per your requirement. Only test email message. Now I'm going to send this email to amit.gupta at the red stack abc.com. This is the receiver end, amit.gupta at stackabc.com and stackabc at the rate gmail.com is the sender. Now I'm going to send the message and uh, we need to see the settings over here. If messages has been arrived. Currently I can see messages message is not arrived yet and uh, now we need to verify on the sender end yes on the sender end we have received a notice this is your message to amit.gupta at stack abc has been blocked right this is the message which we had specified uh, your email account is not allowed to send the email on stackabc.com Right. This is the response message which we have uh, configured. We can see in the admin console and uh, in the edit option, your email account is not allowed to send the email on stackabc.com. So this is the way which we can use to block the senders. Now in case if, if your management says that you need to unblock this setting, so what you need to do, you need to only uh, disable this settings why I am going to only disable because it might be sometimes you need to allow some other email so you need to only edit and uh, change the settings or change the account and uh, you can enable it in future if you required right so I'm not going to delete it I just disable this settings and going to click on the save option this setting has been disabled 
now amit dot gupta will amit dot uh, gupta will receive the email which is sent from the stack abc uh, at the rate gmail dot com test mail allowed test mail allowed from stack abc at the rate gmail dot com to amit dot gupta at stack abc dot com i can just test it i have just sent this email now we need to verify at amit dot gupta at the rate stack abc dot com by clicking I'm just refreshing this email. Yes, I receive an email from stackabc.com and the same subject line and uh, same uh, content which we had specified while sending the email from stackabc at the rate gmail.com. Yes, this means we had blocked and we have enabled the settings for the block senders. So this is the way which we can use to block the senders on the Google email from the Google Admin Console. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will see some other settings on the Gmail.